After Effects has so many buttons and things to click on, and they have even more effects to use. So let me show you 10 of the best effects in under 3 minutes. First effect is the fast box blur. In my opinion, it's the best effect for some general blurring. Way better than the Gaussian blur. You can use it for creating glows or anything that needs to be blurry. Next up, the turbulent displace effect. Perfect to displace something, like creating heat waves on a fire shot, or animating 2D fire elements, or even this cool abstract line background. The usages of this effect are endless. Fractal noise, an effect out of a psychology office. But with these weird abstract shapes, you can do a lot, like create portals or even simple smoke effects. The camera lens blur is the fourth effect, and this is the best blurring effect if you want to mimic the depth of field of a real camera. To use this effect to the fullest, you are going to need depth maps, letting you have control over what's sharp and what not. Another effect that lets you have control over blur is the CC force motion blur effect, or the pixel motion blur effect. They both do the same, but in a different way. So if you have a shot with no motion blur due to a higher shutter angle, these effects are your savior. The sixth effect will help you get those cool and popular gradient backgrounds, the four color gradient effect. Now besides backgrounds, I also use it to make my smoke layers blend in better when doing VFX, making it seem like the smoke interacts with the environment lights. CC Sphere is up next and does exactly what the name says it does. It creates spheres, perfect for creating planets, energy balls and so on. The next effect I actually don't use that much, but when used correctly it can create some cool stuff. Shatter, which will let you break things, like for instance this text, or if you want you can disintegrate yourself. Now for a newer effect, I think Adobe sneaked it in with one of the last updates. <laughs> but here is the fog 3D effect, which will believe it or not create fog. Mind blowing, but very handy for VFX artists among us. We're almost out of time and for the last one we have the displacement map effect, an awesome effect to create shockwaves, cool caustic text effects and those trippy melting glitch effects. You just need a displacement layer and this can be anything, even a fractal noise layer. Now if you want to learn some other tools perfect for motion design, check out the video here on my left and get designing. Thank you so much for watching, see you next time.